Hello and a very warm welcome. My name is Udo Sendai and in this third episode of the Search XT Synthesizer Workshop, I guide you through the modulation section of Search XT, a fantastic open source and free synthesizer for Linux, Windows and Mac. It would be great if you would leave me a like and a subscription. Then let's get wobbly. The modulation section is in the lower part of the Search XT synthesizer. Let's highlight it step by step and start with the modulation list. The list button opens a new window with all modulation listed where you can filter by source, by target, by target section and by target scene. And you can clear the filter. You can add new modulations directly in this window by selecting source and target. Here's the place when you want to modulate, for example, with your current LFO parameters, parameters from another LFO. Change the value display in some different steps to see more or less values. Copy everything as text into the clipboard, for example, for documenting or having the values written down to recreate the patch on another synthesizer. And finally, see and modify in the big right part of the window all modulations that are done in that patch. The modulations are grouped according to your filter selection by source or target. After the source and target description on the right side you see three icons. A big X for deleting that modulation, a speaker symbol to mute and unmute the modulation and a pen to edit the amount for that modulation by entering values. Then you see according to your setting in the value display a lot or no values or something in between and the sliders where you can again adjust the modulation to your needs. Ok, let's close that window again. When you right click on any of those modulators, you get at least the link to the manual and if this modulator is modulating something, you can see this in the pop-up under the title Target, where you can directly delete, mute or edit in the modulation from the pop-up. Sometimes some other options are available like renaming, copy and paste targets or switch modulator to different behavior. If you want to start modulating a parameter, you have to select the modulator by clicking on it and then click on it again so it is highlighted. Or if the modulator is already selected, you can just use the middle mouse click to activate or deactivate the modulating, regardless where you are with your mouse at that moment. When you want to reset a modulation on a parameter, you can double click on it or use the right mouse click and delete it in the pop-up menu. There are 8 macros with which you can modulate any parameter. You can see on the scene A and scene B and the effect section. The macro modulators are considered global modulators. By default they are unipolar, but you can set them to bipolar. Just use the pop-up menu with the right mouse click. The manual describes as well, by default the macros are assigned to MIDI CC 41 to 48 which is often mapped by default to knobs or slider banks for a lot of MIDI controllers. Below the macros are the voice and note properties. Starting with 10 controller properties that are standardized defined MIDI CCs like velocity and release velocity, channel and poly aftertouch or pressure, pitch bend, the module, breath controller, expression pedal, sustain pedal, timbre, mostly used by MPE instruments. Then for key tracking modulators. A general key tracking with additional three specialized key trackings for the lowest, the highest and the last note played. These are connected to the key tracking settings on the left side of the filter envelope generator. If you are not sure where C4 or C5 is, you can switch on the Search XT's keyboard with Alt and K or with the Search XT menu under Workflow and Virtual Keyboard. There you see the labels on the key. Then two options to use the filter envelope generator and amp envelope generator as modulation source. A um, random modulator with bipolar as default, but you can switch it as well to unipolar. And you can use both settings in parallel, so it is two random modulators. An alternate modulator that produces alternating values at voice level. 
So for example, if you modulate a thousand hertz with plus 200 hertz, it alternates as well with minus 200 hertz. So it alternates between the two values 800 and 1200 hertz. Here the same applies like to the random modulator. The modulator is by default bipolar, but you can switch it to unipolar. So if you modulate 1000 hertz with plus 200 hertz, it alternates between 1000 hertz and 1200 hertz. And you can use bipolar and unipolar in parallel, like the random modulator, two in one. Then there are six voice LFOs called LFO and six scene LFOs called SLFO. The difference is voice LFOs are for each voice. Every voice gets its own LFO. You can hear it clearly when you use key trigger or random trigger. SLFOs are for the whole scene, like for example scene pitch, and can be routed to the FX section. All voices are treated the same regardless which trigger you are using. The modulation sources for LFO and SLFO are identical and they all have three modulation outputs that you can use in parallel for different modulation targets. You can use everything, that means the raw waveform of the LFO and the envelope generator. Or you can just use the raw waveform, the LFO. Or you can just use the envelope generator, the DAHDSR. You choose your output by right-clicking on the LFO or SLFO and selecting your output before modulating your desired parameter. On the most left side there's a hamburger menu where you can load and save LFO presets. They are sorted in categories of the modulation type with submenus. The sliders on the left are labeled Rate, Phase for the most LFO types or Shuffle with the Step Sequencer, Deform and Amplitude. Rate is the frequency. You can tempo sync that slider to your DAW. With the phase slider, you can move the phase of the waveform and shuffle does the same thing with the step sequencer steps. Both can be extended, then you get a bipolar slider. Deform lets you deform the LFO or steps. You have three different deform algorithms available with the right mouse click. And with Amplitude, the amount of modulation can be controlled. This slider can also be extended and then you get as well a bipolar slider for positive and negative values. The LFO trigger models are Rerun, that is synced to your DAW, Key Trigger, every time you press a key or you have a note incoming, and Random triggers the LFO randomly. In polyphonic mode, the key trigger and random trigger are starting a LFO for each voice separately, while with the SLFO the first key sets the LFO position and then following keys are aligned. Below the LFO trigger modes is the button where you switch between a bipolar or unipolar LFO, so positive and negative values or only positive values. The LFO types in the middle area Sinus, triangle, square, ramp down, sawtooth, noise, sample and hold are quite self-explanatory. With envelope, the slider, rate and phase are disabled and you use the DAHDSR on the right side to set up this envelope. You may ask yourself why there is an extra envelope that doesn't even repeat. The advantage of this envelope is you can use the deform slider with its three different algorithms to give the DAHDSR an additional shape and dose it with the amount slider. The step sequencer can have 16 steps in total, but you can decrease it with the starting and ending handle on the left and right side. You can cycle the steps with the left and right arrows on the left side. You can easily reset a step to zero with double clicking or holding down control or command key and clicking on it. And above the steps you see a thin line. With a left mouse click you can switch on a line in the whole cell. That means that the filter and the amp envelope generator are re-triggered at this step. With the right mouse click you can alter between a smaller line on the left, that is just a re-trigger of the filter envelope generator, and a small line on the right, that is just the re-trigger of the amp envelope generator. 
If you set one of the three lines, you can delete it again with the left mouse click. The MSEC has a little pen icon on the upper right of the waveform display to open a window. And you can directly click on the waveform display itself. That will open that window as well. You see the display with the waveform. Underneath the waveform, you see a numbering from 0 to 1 is the rate slider settings. If you set the rate, for example, to a quarter note, the 0 to 1 is the length of a quarter note. Below it, on the left side, is the movement mode. Single means you can move every point or segment around without affecting the other points and segments. Shift means if you move a point or a segment around, everything on the right side will be moved accordingly. Draw means you move your mouse while holding down the left mouse button and all existing points that you cross vertically above or below it will be moved to the current vertical mouse position. The edit mode has envelope, where you can extend your envelope larger in length than your rate setting. So the envelope can be any size larger than, for example, just a quarter note. And LFO, where the range is limited to the rate setting. According to the example, it is limited to a quarter note. The loop mode works only in envelope mode from the previous edit mode. Off means the envelope is just used once and then stops at the end point. On means the loop range that you can change in the bottom of the display will be repeated forever until you release the key again or the note ends. Gate repeats as well like in the loop mode, but if you have some points or segments falling on the right side of the envelope, those are used as a release. The snap to the grid function is to help you set the points correct with snapping vertical and horizontal to the grid that you can increase or decrease with the grid numbers. The right click on every point or segment reveals a context menu that contains a lot more functions like set loop start and end, edit actions like split, delete, half or double, flip the curves vertical or horizontal, quantize, distribute, and so on. Creation of many standard MSECs. Define a point or segment as a trigger for the FEG and or AEG or both. So you can, for example, re-trigger your envelope generators in the middle of your MSEC on several points or segments. Define a point or segment as different curve type. And with holding down the shift key and clicking the left mouse button, you can select several points or segments at once. And the last LFO type is formula, where you can write your own LFOs with the programming language Lua. If you want to know more about how you can program your own LFOs, you find some tutorials via left mouse clicking on the patch browser above. Then you see the menu entry on the lower right side. And finally, on the right side, an LFO EG with an DAHDSR, where you can tempo sync each slider or all at once, except the sustain because that is just a level and no time setting. Remember that each LFO has these three parallel outputs where you can use the LFO envelope generator without using the LFO type on the left side or you use just the LFO type without the LFO EG, or you use both the LFO type and the LFO EG. When you want to modulate a parameter, you choose first which of these three outputs you want to use to modulate your parameters by right-clicking on the LFO or SLFO. So my friends, this was the modulator's overview. If this wasn't enough for you, just start thinking about combining some modulators or modulate the modulators. I encourage you strongly to take a deeper look into the absolutely great manual where you can find a lot more details. The next workshop episode will be about the effects section. My name is Odo Sendai Dukai. Thanks for watching and paying attention and I would love to hear from you in the comment sections. How did you like it? Did you miss something? Do you want to add something? How was your day? In which part of the world are you watching this tutorial? Just say hello from your location. From Berlin, Germany, I say, I hope to see you soon again in the next video. Stay healthy, save the future, 
Take care. See you then. Ciao, ciao.